Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi Glory Link for the past randomizers tonight. Let's get started with a good old defeat Ganon normal open seed here. Oops, I gotta load up the right splits. That's my incorrect splits there. Uh, one second. Let's say our average is not an hour. That would be ridiculous. That would be super ridiculous. All right. Well, if PB is a buck thirty-seven. We're probably not gonna hit that tonight. But we want to look at averages. There we go. Average 202.42. I'm pretty sure we can do better than that. I mean, we can. It just depends on what RNG decides to grace us with. And the only way to figure that out is to get going. So let's get going in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. 50 rupees. Not a bad start. Not a great start, but not a bad start. I wonder if that summer summer tournament is, uh, the summer tournament is still going for those. I would guess so, because it was a big ass tournament. They're down to bracket stages yet. I'd like to join a tournament for this someday. Someday when I actually get a good Alright Uncle, what you got in your pockets tonight? A oh, big old 20. Mm, not very useful, Uncle. Not very useful. We'll give you a firm talking to in about two hours. Drop there. No, a big old bomb cap there. Okay. Well, not the most auspicious of starts. Well, let's go rob the church and see how we feel then. Eh? Ah, all right. A little some red goo. A little bit of red goo. Not gonna ask where they got that, but hey, that's fine. Alright, let's head on up to the Lost Woods. Check the crab drop, check the lumberjack tree. Or the lumberjack cave, rather. And then head on over to the village. All right, Crab, what you got today? Some bombs. All right. That's what I like to see. All them bombs. Nice. Okay, we'll be having a full stack of bombs by the time we hit the village. Uh, nothing but a fiver on Lumberjack Ledge. That's good. That's real nice. Don't have to care about that. Here's hoping that's a good sign that Ega 1 will not be required. But we won't know that for a bit. Give bombs. Give last bomb, please. Thank you. Oh, that's right. We got that bomb cap, too. So we got a little, a little extra. That bird, he's putting in the work. Oh, we got a little heart container and mushroom spot. All right. That's pretty good. A little extra love, a little extra life. About in the thieves' den, another heart container. Okay, what a very lovely forest. Get the fuck out of here, though. Let's go rob the village. Let's see what we get down there. So us having a bottle means we can pay sick kid a visit. Get just about all of our uh, Kakariko village chores out of the way. Really be good if we got the flute straight out the gate too. That'd be super nice. Hint, hint, RNG please. Also very interesting. And some more bombs. Bombs that will not go to waste. So we got that early bomb. And the blue mail. Okay. Okie dokie then. Okie dokie then. Um, let's see here. We've got Moon Pearl. We've got Flippers and ether. 
off to the well we go. Big old 20. Ouch. <laughs> you just take that in the face, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Piece of candy. Just enough for bottle vendor here. Big old 20. Empty bottle. And some more busy bam. So that's, you know, that's fair. That's, that's a fair amount of, fair amount of stuff to get there. Not exactly what we're going for, but it's... Ah, selling some power. For a hundred bucks. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that gets us a few different places. Oh, that was a terrible chicken throw. Big old 20 in the back of the KFC. Let's go pay good old Cicada a visit. What's he got? What's he coughing up for us this time? Eh? Ah, it's a little piece of candy. All right. He was saving that. Decided to give it to us. How generous. How generous. What about the back of the bar, though? What'd they pull down last night? Some bombs. Ooh, they had to confiscate some bombs. Got some very dangerous patrons, apparently. Check the library right quick. We got up in here. Piece of candy, alright. We'll be coming back for that. How about the race game. Race game, race game, race game has piece of candy. Alright, we don't care about that either. Good, let's get all the garbage shit on these places that take time to check. I like that. Since we got 15 bombs, we can hit South Shore without too much difficulty. Quite have Dark World access just yet. We need Titans, Mints, and or Oh, early ass bow. Oh, Daddy like. Daddy like that a lot. Excellent. That opens up. Uh, that opens up Eastern pretty well for us. I also prefer a sword or a hammer or some some consistent method of dealing damage, but we can. Uh, we can do a swordless Eastern. That is something we can do. Okay, no, we'll, we'll bug net. A safety item there. It's pretty reasonable. Uh, excuse me, not Grok, sir. Ouch. Spitting rocks in my face. Alright, let's see what we can pull off here. Oh, nice. Good shot. Excellent. Make this a uh, clean sweep. Hell yeah. Good bombings. Alright, what about the uh, heart container? Old oh, sink heart there. A little piece of candy. Bitty roots. 20 roots. And another big old heart container. Alright, we're looking healthy. Like a good old healthy seed. Bird, please. <laughs> this bird, please. Birds and crabs. Nature is out to get me. Goodness me, they are really trying. <laughs> well, they're gonna tank some damage there without any problem, but still, it's the principle of the matter. Alright, now we could do. I suppose since we did get early flippers, we should do a uh, hobo. Check like Hylia Island and all that. Just in case. And we might leave Zora for a bit. So we don't have the cash for it. There's a 10 arrow cap there. Boo. 
But at the very least, we can go check Waterfall of Wishing. That's an easy two to grab. on the island. Uh, what about a piece of candy? Okay. That's fine. Didn't need to bother with that. What about the old hobo today, though? Is he going to be helpful? Or are you going to have trash? What has he been collecting under this bridge, do you think? A nice pokey stabby weapon would be nice. Perhaps uh, a hammer? Eh? Eh? Ah, oh, about a 20. What a shit. I don't need your pocket change. Actually, I kind of want your pocket change. We don't have a lot of money. Need at least another, probably three, probably close to four hundo to set us for the rest of the seed. I'm gonna take a small risk and go check waterfall. We're not even gonna bother checking, uh... Well, actually, we probably should. Oopsie, what am I doing? Could probably go check Zora Ledge since we do have the means to get it. Um, but we just don't have the money for Zora himself. So we're gonna bank on him not having nothing. And hope for the best. Ah, Titan's Mids and a Fiver. Well, that's a good thing we got our butts up here real quick. Let's go check Zora Ledge right quick here and we'll. S and Q out and go Sahash and Eastern. What we got up here? Nothing but 10 arrows. Alright, well, we don't care about that. I suppose, depending on what. Uh, is that a. Eastern is a crystal dungeon. We'll go for it right away. It is. We got two. The both five sixers here. That's amazing. Plus a normal crystal up at Hera. Means Dark World will have the three pendants, which is fucking great. Hey, Bucky's Twitch, how you doing? This is a uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past randomizer. If you haven't seen randomizers before, this is probably gonna look downright silly, but I can guarantee it's a lot of fun. What the randomizer does is it takes all of the items that you would get around the world, on the overworld, and in the dungeons and shuffles them up and puts them in different places. But it does so in such a way that the game is still completable without doing crazy stuff. Let's see what we got in the back room here. A single root, a piece of heart, and a bomb cap. All right, well, nothing that valuable, but we'll make it do. Oh, it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a heckin' good time. I can tell you that much for free. Um, but right now we're playing a pretty typical variant of it, where our goal is still to beat the game. It's still to go through, collect all seven crystals, and defeat Ganon. But there's a ton of other variants, too. Me, I'm not very good at this, so I, I stick to the more team randomizers. <laughs> So right now, we don't have a sword. Pretty much our only way to deal damage is with the bombs that we've got. And we've got a bow and arrow, but we don't have any arrows, so we're gonna have to find some of those. Oh yeah, it definitely, uh, it's different every time, <laughs> hence the name Randomizer, so you can definitely get a lot of mileage out of it. I would heartily recommend it to anybody who likes Zelda games. Oh, there's the burrito, alright. And even for people who don't really like Zelda games, I think it's fun either way. That's okay. We can do Swordless Eastern pretty easily. Uh, something that's going to concern me later on, however, is that we don't have a lamp. So we'll be dealing with a couple dark rooms in a few minutes here. Which, the ones in Eastern aren't bad. I can take care of those pretty easily. Oh, there's the big one. But there'll be two dark rooms here that we gotta go through. So that's gonna be real fun to watch because you're not gonna be able to see nothing. But hopefully we'll be able to get through without problems. Oh, 
probably should have gone for those bombs. Oh well, that's fine. Compass. Wow, we're getting the non-dungeon items just way up front here. The burrito, the compass, and the big key. So now everything else we've got to pick up will be an item of some sort. Hopefully something useful. Big ol' heart container. I guess that's useful. But three items in Eastern we gotta grab. That was the first one. The first one that wasn't the... Uh, uh, the map, the compass, or the big key. Alright, so here's the, the first dark room. Go based on... Alright, we're just gonna let those guys go by. I need to... I need some sort of... Uh... Okay, there I am. <laughs> need to figure out where the fuck I am. Uh, I gotta find the door. No, I just closed it again. Ouch. Where's the damn button? There it is. Okay. Now we gotta find the key under the pot in here. There it is. Oh, and we even got the we even got the skeleton. So I'm gonna grab those bombs and get out. Try to get out. All right. So now we're back in the first room. There should be down along the bottom. Yep. There's the door, and we're okay. We're good. We're through. That took a little bit more than I wanted it to. That's okay though. The important thing is we survived. Item number two, spinny roofs. Okay, well then. <laughs> well then, uh, that's not very useful. So we're gonna hope that uh, Armos. Oh wait, we've got one more dark room to deal with. I lied. Uh, we've got to deal with this one, which is probably the the biggest pain in the butt one to deal with because of these damned cyclopses. I'm gonna pick up some arrows and hope for the best. Try to find them before we. Uh. Okay, we're right at the thing. Oh, shit. I fucked it up. Oh, yeah. Where the hell is he? Shit, I don't have anything. Oh, I've got the. Uh, crap, this. This might be a problem. Oh, there. He was there. Okay. Ouch. Ow. Ooh. <laughs> Couple bomb. Okay, I think we've got him. Nope. Shit, now we're out of arrows. Oh, he was right there. Oh, crap. Uh, we're gonna have to duck out and see if we can get some more arrows. Ouch. Or we'll just take it down. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, I suppose I had a potion I could have used, but that's fine. We need, we need arrows anyway, so this is probably for the best. That room's a little tougher, because I don't exactly remember where the dude with the key is. Give it one more crack before we come back later. Really just need to find I think that's him right there. No, is that a wall? I think that's a wall. Yeah, that is a wall. Shit. I wasted so many gosh dang. Okay, there he was. So we gotta be careful. Okay, I think that was him right there. Oh, this is real bad. 
Okay, I think we got him. Nope. Ah, shit. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back later. Obviously, I'm not properly equipped to deal with this. Not properly equipped to deal with this. Uh, we got 13 bombs. That should be enough. Alright, we'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back. It's fine. Don't worry about it. For now, let's take care of escape. Front and back half of escape. We've got the bombs to deal with it. Unfortunately, we did burn a few minutes trying to do that, but that's okay. Excuse me, sirs. actually pretty good. That's one of the other items that can be found almost literally anywhere. So I'm glad to get that super early on, and that's going to be pretty nice if we have to take care of Turtle Rock. But there is a chance, a 3 in 7 chance, that we don't have to do Turtle Rock. Well, probably less than that, actually. Well, maybe more than that, depending on what items we're missing by the time we get up there. Candy. All right, so we haven't we haven't seen the map of this area yet, so there's a chance that that could be in the dark room, so we don't have to worry about it. But we'll have to get this last one down the dungeons and uh, check the back half to see if that truly is the map or not. Is three enough? No. Mm. Old piece of candy there, okay. Now we can do the back half by going under the gravestone. And hope that that uh, map is not found there. So then we can skip the last chest, which is the one in the dark sewer area. chance that it isn't. Ah, dang it. Of course there it is. A small key and a bomb cap. Boo. Boo! Ah, crap. Alright, what's our next play here? I guess go to go to Dark World, huh? The best thing we can do now. Highest concentration of items. Unfortunately, we can't uh, do Thieves Town yet. Or we can't finish Thieves Town. We could probably get some items out there. But without a sword or a cane of Samaria or a hammer, we can't deal damage to blind. At least I don't think we can. I'm not sure that bombs do damage to blind or not. But we don't have nearly enough bombs for me to give that a go. So what am I doing? Take the portal. Check this real quick. Blah 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 blah. Looks like we got pod as a pendant. Swamp is green. Thieves Town is blue pendant. Oh boy. The rest are crystals. So we did need that ice rod since T Rock is crystal number three. Glad we found that early. Ah, 
use our lamp. Okay. Now them dark rooms will be no problem. Outcast not being kind to us. Go check a few others before we head into Thieves Town. Well, check one other, I suppose. Just the one. Just the one up at Bumper Cave. Ten arrows, okay. Whoa, excuse me. Man, some aggressive ass birds here. See what we can find in Thieves Town. Ah, uh, burrito! Yay! Anybody hungry? <laughs> I kind of am. A small key. Yikes! They're gonna put everything of value in the back half, aren't they? That would be just the thing to do. That would be just the thing for RNG to give to us. It's a back half of Thieves Town stacked with probably garbage, so I'm wasting my time, but who knows. Never know until you go get it. Oh good, a single rupee. My favorite. some uh, equipment as we go along. Not much, I will grant, but it's something. I won't be able to get the item in the big chest. And there's also a high chance of that being an item I want to get. Or at least check. number three on the night. That's okay. Probably for the best, actually, to get some more health. We're not losing that much time since we needed to uh, come back from that area anyways. Important thing is we got the hole blown open and we got the chest that was up there. 
despite the fact that it was garbage. Me and my greed going back for that big old 20. Do you in. Greed will do you in. Switch real quick. Get down here. Okay, so we got two items yet, and there's. Mm, it's really we can only really only get one of them, unless this one happens to be the hammer. In which case, we can check too. But there's also a one in three chance that this one will be useless. Ah, and it is useless. Wonderful. Uh, you know what? We're gonna walk this out. We kind of have to. Or I can take. I can death warp. Never mind. What am I doing? I'll walk this out like a pleb. Okay, so there's still two items in Thieves Town, since we don't have the hammer and we don't have a, a method of damaging blind. Still no sword. Thanks, RNG. So, we'll just kind of trek around for a bit, see what we can find. Hit up Hype Cave and Digging Game and grab the frog and visit old Stumpy. Got lots of things we can do. I should have known this was going to be a bad seed when we got an early bow. Like, that should have been hint number one. Oh. Fancy three hundo, that'll put us to Zora Cash. It's the last bit of money that we need. So not terribly useful immediately. But, if we can, if we can get the mirror, and we head up and take care of Catfish, we can mirror out and do Zora right away as well. But for now, we'll grab the frog, and go on a little adventure. Just a little tiny adventure. Talk to Stumpy, hit up Hype Cave. Mm, well, we can't go check uh, Pyramid just yet, though. At least not with the frog in tow. So we don't have a hammer. Big old 20. Old Stumpy. Thanks, old Stumpy. What a pal. Giving us 20 bucks for doing nothing. How about that? Oops, excuse me. Sir. Sir. Get out the way, please. They are trying their level best to hit me. Good on them. Good on them for trying, but here we go. Hype Cave. Five items of potential awesome. Busy Bambos. Okay. What else we got? Pity Roots. Big ol' art container. Bombs. And a big old 20. Okay. Well, that's enough of that. Alright, well, now probably our next play will be to go to Eastern after we drop off the blacksmith here. Since we can now complete that easily without dicking about in that last dark room. That will get us uh, one more item in our first crystal. We should probably also go up the mountain, even though we can't do much except those first couple ones. Alright. 
Fuck those. What do you got? Oh, the Arrow of Destiny. Thanks. Thanks for that. Run is halfway valid now. Let's go finish Eastern. Shouldn't have dicked around in it the first time, but figured we'd give that dark room a couple goes, and if it didn't work, we'd come back later. Well, it is now later. You finished up here. Can never remember if there's items under that pot or not. Cyclops one and once in his big fat eyeball. All right, so I was way off. I was going way too far to the right. But whatever, it's fine. Too much. Ah, oh, come on! We only got fucking two of them with that. Are you serious? At least get all of them? Nah, of course not. Alright, that's okay. Still got plenty of arrows for Armos. Spend it all in one place. But hey, at least there's crystal number one and it's a five sixer to boot. <clears throat> okay. Well, knowing my luck, RNG will put something of value in that uh, dark chest and escapes. We're gonna check that before we head up the mountain. to judge sometimes, depending on how those rats move around. But, let's see if this journey of a minute and change was worth it. Eh? Excuse me. Eh? It wasn't! <laughs> 
Go figure. Well, worth a check, I guess, at the very least. Okay, up the mountain we go now. For two items and checking on a third. Kind of getting... Hmm, kind of getting blocked out of everywhere we go. We could... Oops, up the mountain. Oh, shit. We could go uh, to Pod. Which would be a really silly thing to do, so equipped, but... If you have to, you have to, right? Let's grab this old man real quick and get the fuck on out. Get out of here. Oh, good. Just bomb cap from the old man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for absolutely nothing of value. Pro cabbage dodging as I'm fiddling with my tracker. Alright, so we get to see what's up top, Spectacle Rock, and we get to see what's inside. Only one of which we can actually get. Hey! We got up top. A narrow cap. All right. Well, what about inside? Was this trip worth it? It was not. Awesome. Okay. Well, where does that leave us? I guess we can go down to the desert. Let's see what Agana's cave holds for us. That can sometimes be a little bit valuable. Then I think after that we need to start heading into Pod. to go up to Zora now that we've got the 500 bucks for him. Dang. We can get that bird, yeah. Fuck you. Stupid bird. <laughs> got a very weird hod hodgepodge of items now. No sword, but quite a few utility items. Bucks, 100 bucks, not in his cave. Wow, so useful. We're pretty restricted onto what we can do now, but we've still got some options. A couple not very good options, but we still got options. The big old 20 on desert ledge. Check Zora right quick. <clears throat> That'll be the last uh, light world location we can hit. And then it's down to Pod, Pyramid, Purple Chest. And well, we can't do any more in Thieves Town. Still missing two there. this king ripoff as to whether or not we'll be heading out of light world with something of value in our pockets or if we'll be going to dark world with our heads held in shame Well, 
which one is it gonna be? Value for 500 bucks or nothing for 500 bucks? Nothing for 500 bucks. Although it's at least good for a refill. So there is that, unfortunately. That relegates us now to Dark World. Mm, so we'll start with Pod. We've got the equipment to do most of Pod. Pretty much everything but uh, the approach to the boss, I would say. And considering Pod is a pendant, this is not going to make me very happy to do so, but... You can't turn down the potential for five items. It's not something you can avoid, really. Oh, wait. I don't even think I can get into this one, can I? Because I don't have the hammer. Shit. Well, which one can I get into? The one... Pretty much the only one I can go to is the, uh... Is the one in Kakariko. Oh, crap. We're gonna have to go all the way up and around to do this. Isn't this gonna be some fun shit? I wonder if we can at very least grab the purple chest before we go. Ooh. Yeah, it's the only way we're gonna be able to do is go up and around. We can jump. Up, we can jump into the river and then climb out on the other side. But dang it! Well, I guess while we're up there, we'll take care of catfish and uh, probably pyramid on our way through. For a hammer or something, so we can at least take care of entirety of pod. I suppose we could also dip into, uh, try to go into Skull Woods, see what's up here. Not that we can do much about it. Can't get into the back half of it because we don't have the fire rod, but. Let's poke our heads in, see what we can see. on these fuckers. Great. Ah, the bloomerang! Worthless. Fucking worthless. And also one of the two items we were looking for here. So, whoop-de-doo tarantula town. Out over here. Small ass key. I'm like, Skullwood's gonna be a bit of a bust for us, too. One more place we can check. <laughs> Bouncing monstrosities got out of our face. Oh, a lot of arrows. Great. Uh, wait, I think I can use... Oh, excuse me, sir. Ah. So we can get these gimpos out of, out of here. Fucking really? Get out of here, fucker. because of all the ice fucking particles. Well, now we get to find out if it was all worth it. Was it all worth it? It was not. And now we're fucked out of Skull Woods for now. We can go no further. We can't get the big chest, and we can't get into the second half of it. Back half. There's no fire rod. So, we are out of here. For the time being. grabbing purple chest right now. I hope that and I hope that it's nothing. Uh, 
So I guess since we're halfway there, let's just go check catfish real quick and we'll hit pyramid on the way through and then we'll be headed into pod, I guess. Unless we get something of extreme value. Like, oh, I don't know, say a hook shot. Hookshot would probably be the best for us right now. That would open up so much of Death Mountain. Although it wouldn't get us into anywhere else, really. We might still go into pod just for grins. Eh? Nothing but a big old 20 from Catfish. Thanks for nothing! Piece of shit, fish ass invertebrate. I, I think fish are invertebrate. No. Are they invertebrate? I, I don't know. Forever since I had a basic science class. Basic biology. Alright, so catfish was bust. That leaves pyramid, pod, and purple chest. Which, knowing my luck, it's gonna be Purple Chest that uh, has the value. That would be just the thing to happen tonight. Let's see what we got on Pyramid. Baby's first shield. You know what? We're here, we may as well grab it. Not the extreme value I was hoping for, but hey. Full protection ain't never hurt no one. Ain't never hurt no one. will not be a sub 2 unless we get everything that we need in very short order and just slam through every dungeon. question is if we get it like an early <clears throat> excuse me if we get an early good item here do we just quit out immediately or do we keep going probably keep going figures Oh, we have got zero arrows, so I hope we can pick some up in the next room. Because, my goodness, that would be embarrassing if we could. Eh? Okay, good. This is pretty much just enough arrows. Three small key special here. <clears throat> Is that what we got? Oh, Quakerito, huh? Well, well, sugar. You know what? While we're up here, we're gonna grab some backup fairies. We've got all the medallions, so we don't really need to worry about a whole heck of a lot. 
Uh, oh, that's right. We don't have that. Yeah. Now we do. There we go. Now we gotta hoof it all the way back because we don't have a hammer to get down from here. Piece of shit. I think there might be a way to bomb jump off that platform, but I have no idea how to do it. just in case I needed it here. Dang it. Oh wait, I should go for this one first. The other small key. They don't have the big key yet. So this might be a fool's errand. But bombs are fine. I just need like an arrow or two. Another small key. All right, let's what four of them now. Four or five, and there's what six total. I think that's all the small keys at this point. There's the big key. <laughs> Shit. Just getting all of the keys everywhere. Getting every fucking non item, too. So that's the best. What shitty RNG. Ah, the mirror, though. Hey, there's some value. Some value. Just a little tiny bit. Not much at this point. And mirror is very suspect and very uncool. God damn it, are you fucking serious? Oi. But that gives us some fastish travel. And I'm not even gonna go for that chest. I think that's just gonna be another small key, so. What do we got here? This will be the last item. Half magic. Okay. We plundered as much as we could from there. Uh, so now what? I think we go back to Kakariko. Do a few other things. We can, uh, we can do Bonk Rocks and King's Tomb. Immediately. We can get up to Tower of Hera. Uh, we can't beat Tower of Hera, because we don't have a, a means of fucking... <laughs> we don't have a means of damaging Wormulon. I can believe that bullshit. No pokey weapons, no sharp weapons, no... no hammer. They don't have a 
lot to our names here. Still waiting for that one item that blows this thing wide open. And there it is! <laughs> Just needed something, something of extreme value to help us out, and there it is. Gosh, what a fucking runaround it was to get that. Now we've got some value, we can get pretty much all of Death Mountain squared away. top door, you don't have to do the fall down business here. So what are we gonna get? Are we gonna get a shield? Get some more health? How about a sword or two? <laughs> or three? That would be real nice. our first sword. Alright. Some literacy, arrow cap, and a big old fiber. Alright, well, now we can take care of Tower of Hera. Now we got ourselves a little pokey weapon. Bucko two in, we finally get a sword. That's not a good sign there, RNG, thank you. It's on the island up there, do we care? Oh, there's another sword up on the island, okay. Two swords on Death Mountain. Oh wait, we can't get to that yet. All right, that's fine. We'll do Spiral Cave and then the dark side of this and get our second sword before we head to Hera, I suppose. I guess. Say no to that. Another big old swine. Sword and a 
for two. Here, in preparation of going to Hera. Plus, we can check uh, the Ether tablet since we've got literacy on our side now as well. Filled with a fairy. How nice. How very generous. Basement trip for me. Well, there's the fourth bottle. <laughs> also one of Hera's items. Well, the good news is we're not dealing with Wormulon with the plastic sword. The bad news is we don't have the hammer or something better than Master Sword. Whatever, I guess it's fine. Oh, yeah, good. Great. Also, what a fan-fucking-tastic start that was. Yeah, fuck me. Whatever. Alright, is this gonna be the second item, or are we headed to the basement? Fucking headed to the basement, of course. Of course. Well, there's crystal number two, buck 07 in. What a fantastic indicator of the good times to come. Oh wait, arrows. <laughs> Just in case, we might need some of those. that we picked up. There we go. backup item at the very least. Okay, so now what? I guess we can go do desert. That'll be the other five sixer and get us another crystal. Uh, on the way, however, we can do a few other things. Like a purple chest and busy bamboos tablet. Cakes out the grove. Also, technically do Batman, I think, even though we don't have the hammer.
We do that quick while we're here. I mean, this run is already pretty much tank. We may as well tank it even more by taking big ol' risks. We'll need to find the flute at some point, though, because I think Meyer is required. Yep, surely is. Hey, what was that about a flute being required? <laughs> okay, definitely worth that risk has paid off. Risk has suddenly paid off. We should probably activate it before I forget, though. Like a big, super smart guy. Still no hammer, though. Hammer, I think, will open up everything else. Oh, I suppose we do still need Samaria, and we do still need Fire Rock. Yeah, so we do need to do, uh, what's it called? Still need to do Skull Woods. these other one-offs and one smooth route here. Well, and what I hope will be a smooth route. Kind of out of the way for some of this stuff, but while we're here. While we are here. chest and Bombos tablet and then lead us right into desert. Which we will actually circumvent by fluting over to six. So we can take care of everything else. Got a 300 rupees there. Desert back to back double play. Y'all know how I feel about double plays. I love them. Fucking love them. Now all we're missing is uh, is the uh, the hammer. The hammer and the silvers. The silvers would be real nice. They're not necessarily required, but they'd be real nice. We got a mushroom. Big old heart.
bombs there. No thanks, we've got lots of bombs. Silver's for bitches would be real nice, but it's all about how my luck has been turning out tonight, so the likelihood of that happening is pretty slim. But even if we do have to face off against Vitreus with Master Sword only, we've got three backup fairies, so we should be okay. Emphasis on the big ol' S word. Should. Go moding Meyer, that would have been the best place to find that. Such as it is, we are not. So it is not the best place to find that. Still pretty good though, I mean we've got it in hand. Oh wait, we still need the fire rod as well. Fire rod and hammer are the two things we're missing. Alright, probably gonna burn one of our fairies here somewhere. So that one of these whiz robes will appear right on top of us. Almost. Almost fucking called it. Dang it. Uh, okay. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We can still make things work. Like this. last item, which Vitreus could still hold. Which Vitreus does hold. Excellent. <laughs> not like it matters if we're doing probably spin strats Vitreus, which is uh, not fun or fast, but it's something that we can do.
But then again, if Vitreus holds the silvers or something, that'll be totally worth. 100% worth. strats that we can use. No Kane O'Brien, no, uh, excuse me. No Kane O'Brien, no Magic Cape. Not even sure bombs would be any faster, but we can give it a go. So we got plenty of bombs. Strats. Well, that's doing something. but safe, pretty much. All for 50 roofs. Thanks, Vitreus. What a pal. That's crystal number three. Plus, we can get crystal number four in short order, since we'll just be mirroring out for desert. on Yieldy Torch. Alright, there's one of two things we need. One of two. There's the big key. Which means the small key will be in the big chest. Right? Right, right, right. Because that's how these things work. Item, we don't need to worry about nothing else. 
Well, the good news about getting the hammer is that that opens up pretty much everything else for us. With the exception of Skull Woods. We've got a couple places we can go and finish off for crystals. And this one here, desert and ice, I believe. We can also do... rod does the same damage as the fire rod, so maybe that'll be the thing. Maybe that'll be the thing that's we use. And so it does. Why oh, I always forget about that. Oh, fuck you. Ah, fuck you. Hold arms. Or, Lanmo? Lanmo, sorry. Lanmo's. We already did the multi arm thing. All for the burrito. And crystal number four. Hmm. So, there's a lot of items we could go for in the swamp now. Alternatively, we could go straight to ice, which is, I think is what I'm going to do. Because um, we can take care of that without Fire Rod because we've got Bombos. And having half magic will fucking help us out like nothing else. The upshot, of course, being that Ice Palace is also a crystal, so we'll be making progress while we're looking for items. It's always good. The downside being, since we don't have the Fire Rod, we've got to look at this animation all the time. Takes a lot of time, but whatever. It's fine. Oh, we got the mushroom too. I like that. That'll be another fetch questy we can take care of later. If we so need to do. still need two crystals, one up at Team Rock, which we'll have to wait until the very end. Let's put on the hammer. And one... Or, no, we do have the hammer now. We don't have the uh, fire rod. And the other one at... So what is our last crystal that... Whoopsie. Ah, fuck this up already. Oh, we might still be able to pull this off. Eh? Yeah, nice. Uh, what is our other crystal that we need? Team Rock and Ice, obviously, I'm on, but... Hmm. Oh, Skull Woods, right. Right, 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 right. Oopsie. Meant to do that. First try. Hey, Deck of Legend, how you doing? Good to see you. All these rooms are locked. How did the monsters get in? I don't know. I'm guessing they were born here. That would be my guess. Like, I am coming in and wrecking their entire lives because I've just got to save the world or something. Like, who am I to decide who lives and who dies? I guess I'm the hero of legend. That's what I am. I mean, you're the 
the duck of legend, I'm the hero of legend. You know, we understand each other, right? <laughs> oh, there's another sword. Hey, that's handy. No spin strats, Ganon, for Oopsie. Uh, do we have the big key? We don't. Do we have a small key? We don't. All right. I'll take another sword. No spin strats, Ganon, at the very least. Might still have to do Silverless. Might, but let's see what we can pull off here. And also, one step away from Butter Sword. So everybody likes the cholesterol laden, sharp edged weapon that we all know as the Butter Sword. If you don't, I'd have to ask what the hey ho are you thinking? Alright, that's a cape. It's item two of three. of your name is taken unless you had like three numbers at the end so I guess you're sticking with Duck of Legend, huh? I mean, the important thing is you tried. The important thing is your drunken caper of changing your Twitch name was an attempt to made in good faith. There's the big ass key. Don't ask where that's been. Alright, so there's the last item. Plus five to arrow capacity. Not exactly useful, but whatever. We already got ourselves a tempered ass sword, so I'm gonna call this a wash. Uh, so we should probably get one more small key here, I would guess, right? Or the burrito, whatever. Doesn't matter. This fight with Tempered Sword is much better than going with Master. Plus, we've got a hammer just in case things go really too far south for us. Easier of a battle that is a tempered sword, my goodness. Alright, well. So here's where we gotta start making decisions. We can go to Swamp, which is the highest concentration of items. Probably a good idea. We need to find that fire rod before we can finish this out. So I think I'm gonna go into Swamp. And if that doesn't pan out, we're gonna have to start hitting some one-offs, which sucks, but hey, it's just what we gotta deal with. So we're gonna hope Fire Rod is in Swamp. If so, 
A winner is us, and we can move on. Swamp is a bad idea. The spirits are telling you so. Okay, pray tell which brand of spirits are telling you this. Would, would that be the Jack Daniels uh, spirits, or... Uh... <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't like Jack Daniels. I'm, 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 I'm not a big fan of it, but it's not bad either. Like, it's not my worst choice of, what is it, whiskey, right? And yeah. bourbon? Is it a bourbon? I don't know if it's a bourbon. I don't know. I think it's okay. I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it, but, you know, in a pinch. In a pinch, it works out all right. So six possible items here. And again, listening to the spirits is probably about as effective as me making my own decisions, so... It's a tw there's a 50% chance you're right, and there's a 50% chance you're wrong. And in the end, it's nothing but made-up numbers anyways, so... Who is really to say? Oops, what am I doing? I don't have the big key yet. Foolish move that was. Mm, arrow caps everywhere in here, apparently. <laughs> Spice drum is okay. It wouldn't be my first choice of rum, um, but again, it's good in a pinch. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things that are good in a pinch, but usually those things are not anybody's first choice. Like, if I could find a spice drum that's better than the good old Captain Morgan, I'd probably go with it. But I have yet to find a spice drum that's better than that, which is kind of unfortunate. But hey, what are you gonna do? Captain Morgan uh, white rum isn't bad though. Like that's a that's a good choice. And a lot of people swear by Bacardi, but to me Bacardi is just kind of eh. Again, good in a pinch, but not much else. <laughs> We're covering a lot of good in a pinch situations tonight. You remember to flip that switch again, didn't I? I hope I did. This will be a real short trip. Rehundo. Okay, good, I did. Hmm, it's looking like Swamp may not have been the play. Looking even more like Swamp may not have been the play I wanted to do. Through four items and nothing of value has appeared. Mm 
stuff about Sherman's Reserve, but I haven't had any. I don't think I've ever seen that brand anywhere where I'm at. Chairman's Reserve, huh? Is that a brand unto itself, or is it kind of a sub-branding of something else? chance snag this fire rod but it's not looking great not looking great for old Samus here well at least we can get out of here without fighting Argus the one benefit although I probably should have anyways for the green pendant I might regret that uh, okay so where are we headed we headed to probably thieves town yeah, let's head to Thieves Town. Two items plus a couple around. Well, no, never mind. Change, I changed my mind. Let's go deposit the mushroom first. And that is not a euphemism for sticking my dick in a hole. Although it would be a pretty good one for that, wouldn't it? Depositing the mushroom. I think I'll, I'll hold on to that one. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty good brand on its own. Okay, good to know. Look that up at some time. At some point, see if I can find some nearby. Alright, so that was, that was a bust. Worth a go, though. Plus we got Fat Fairy to take care of too. Uh, that's another two items. A bit of walking to do for that, but could be worthwhile. We just need the fire rod so we can take care of these last two fucking things. There's always a chance that it could be in the first few, or the first chest of T-Rock, which would be just the worst. Kane of Brian, so grab a little bit of a safety item that we'll probably never use. Last two items will be the big chest and blind fight anyway, so we're not wasting any time by doing this. Oh boy, what a worthwhile endeavor that was. Okay, I guess it's the blind fight for us. Hmm. 
safe blind fight considering our loadout here. Fire shield and ample health. The Quaker Bombas. Thanks, blind. Real pal there. Seeing hell blind. Oh, we get butter sword for our trouble though. Okay, that may have been worth it all on its own. Hmm, but that leaves not very many places to go. Well, probably double chested fairy. We're gonna play the odds. Then double chested fairy wins, but. I really had a lot of luck playing the odds recently, so maybe this won't matter. be ideal at this point would be fire rod and silver side by side here double chested fairyland crossing whatever digits are available here for that to pan out but unlikely extremely unlikely single red thing in there, but it wasn't the red thing I wanted. Okay. Uh, let's check Cave North of Graveyard first before we bug out and... Well, actually, maybe we do, uh... Maybe finish off... Uh... What am I thinking of? Finish off Pod. So we're already closer in the neighborhood. get fire rod but no silvers that's fine we'll we'll deal we can do a silverless fight it's been a while since we've done one of those but we can do that might be about on par with spin strat scanning as far as how much time it takes but oh well such is how the rng has gone tonight
Alright, this will be a pretty simple fight even without silvers. Hum, hum, hum. That is kind of distressing. That leaves us Cave North of Graveyard and Spike Cave. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, let's check Graveyard first. And that also leaves us, unfortunately, Green Pendant. And MSP, oh man, MSP having Fire Rod would be just the trashiest. Just the worst you could possibly hope for. That would require me going to grab the green pendant anyways, which I probably should have done just in case. But I didn't because I got all excited about, what did I get all excited about? Now I forget what I got all excited about that caused me to just bust on out of there. Huh. I want to say it was, uh, maybe the Butter Sword. No, so we got the Butter Sword after Swamp, right? Ah, fuck, no, I don't remember. Could also still be in dig spot, but then we've got to find the shovel somewhere. Ah, red meringue. Well, it's something red, but not the red thing we were looking for. Oh boy, this is really coming down to it, and not in a good way. <laughs> oh fuck. Well, sh sugar. Try Spike Cave. It has been known to have some value in it before, but... This is not the time I wanted it to have value. and half magic. Eh? Ow! Fuck. That leaves either the opening chest of T-Rock or or I have to go get that green pendant. Ugh. Like, now this is a 50-50 chance. Like, there's no there's no easy way around this anymore. We're gonna go for T-Rock. I'm gonna be so pissed if it's not the fire rod. <laughs> or the shovel. The shovel would be pretty bad too. So that would mean I have to go out of T-Rock. Go to dig spot, dig it up, and whatever it is, it's whatever, you know. Same as to 
whether or not this is actually on Master Sword Pedestal. Because that would be shitty, let's be honest. That'd probably be the shittiest outcome. Go kill Argus, get the green pendant, go to MSB, ugh. What a fucking waste of time. So here we go, here's our one chance for not pulling our hair out. Eh? Ow, oh, shit! Well, <laughs> we need the green pendant anyways. Awesome. Just the best. Boy, howdy, this seat is fucking great. Boy, fucking howdy. God damn it. Back to swamp. Should have just gone through and gotten the green pendant, but no, I thought I was being you know, a big smart boy. Being like, no, we won't need this. We won't need this at all. Oi. So watch, it's gonna be Pendant, Shovel at MSP, and then Fire Rod under Dig Spot. That would just be the thing to do. To just give me the worst possible one. Trying to think back to when I did half a skull woods if I had gotten only the single item or if there was one more in there. I know there's still one more to get, but I don't think I can get it until getting into the back half, which we need fire rod for. Because that would be real shitty. I've definitely miscounted before. And that's cost me quite a bit of time trying to remember where the fuck I miscounted. Miscounted that, which is possible but not likely. Yeah, so it would be the burrito. The burrito and the big key. So the big key is probably with Argus, and then the burrito is in the big chest. Locking that thing away securely so nobody eats it. See, I was right here. I should have just gone the extra, like, minute and a half to finish this off. No, here I gotta go dive in, waste another three goddamn minutes. Ah, well, that's how she goes sometimes. Sometimes the RNG gets you, and sometimes the RNG gets you. You never get the RNG that you want. Ever. But, good news is we don't have to do stupid spin or hammer strats. Straight up murder these cheese puffs. Pendant, we'll get on out of here. Yay, now we can go talk to Shashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashashash
a mythical MSP seed. Only had two of these in the past. I guess we were due for another one. But, just in case, maybe we won't need to do it. Ah, Sasha Shrusha Shrula with the save. With the fucking save. Uh, why am I going here? All oh, right, Skullwoods. All right, so phew, no MSP seed today. Not like it would have mattered. We would have been right up here anyways. In the same amount of time. Maybe we'll get lucky and Mothula has the silvers or something. That would be the only thing to turn this back. From an absolute garbage fire of a seed to something that, okay, we struggled with and gained valuable experience or something. I've still got one key, right? So we need two keys to get up on through, and we don't have to worry about dealing with that Gibdos. Just be like, fuck off, and be on our way. Nah. Fuck that up. Maybe need to bother since we got half magics. That's all right. for the burrito. You know what? Fuck it. We don't need that last item. Even if it is the silvers, we don't need it. And now we can move on to T-Rock. T-Rock and go mode will bring back a few minutes on it, maybe, but we lucky to pull this out as maybe a 215 at best. Increasing our average yet again. <laughs> Squirrels. Always gotta be in my way. I'm in a hurry here, fuckos. Out the way. Oopsie. In so much of a hurry. can't squeeze my butt through there, huh? There's like 50 billion pixels of space. Get out of the way, fucker. Ugh. Ugh. What? <laughs> fucking really? is we pretty much go mode T-Rock now. So we already picked up the big key in that first chest. 
just need a small key and we'll be on our way. Second one. Hey, yeah, excellent. That's even better. Honestly. More than one small key to deal with. Now I think we can just go straight on through. We don't need to worry about nothing. This is the other small key that we need. Get out the way, please. Bounce your butt out of there. Nope, piece of candy. But hey, thought that counts. Go straight on three. We didn't even have to dick about with Laser Bridge anymore. Awesome. Or the best result we could have hoped for here. So this is a fucking fantastic go mode T-Rock. Or it would have been if I hadn't had to stop here before. If I hadn't stopped here before. I guess I didn't have to, but... just because it's slightly south of half. Oh, but wait, we get a refill right before the boss. Never mind, we'll be fine. Shit, Trinex. Give us the silvers. 
damn. Oh well, let's give us Crystal 7. Be done with that bullshit. Alright, place your bets. Where are we gonna find Ganon's Tower Big Key? 1 through 22. This is probably the last chance for RNG to super dick us over, so, you know, keep that in mind. I honestly would not be surprised by a 22 tonight. It would just be the thing to happen. Just because of that, I think I'm gonna go full right hand side this this go around. We'll do that first. Just in case it's trying to really screw me. You know? So here's one and two. Small key is pretty good. Big old 20, not so good. in the tile room. through there. God damn it, are you fucking for real? Piece of goddamn dog shit. Just barely, like fucking two pixels off. Give me a break, man. Give to me the biggest of breaks. Damn, this goddamn fucking conveyor belts all the time. Ugh. So annoying. So what are we up to? Four to seven now? Four, three hundo, five is the shovel, oh boy. Six, the burrito, and seven, little piece of candy. All right, so full right hand side, not the way to go. Not the way to do it. But we did it anyways, just in case. Oopsie. Just in case it was gonna dick us over in that regard, but apparently not that time. So left hand side would have been the thing to do. Of course, here's number eight, I guess. Key on the torch. So I may have just made this into a 22 for myself. Just by doing right hand side first. Uh, 9 through 11 now. Number 9, 10, Riot Shield, okay. 11, piece of candy. Good refill, I guess. And 12, a big old 20. <laughs> oh, this is looking worse and worse all the time. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. At 13, I guess. Or 12. No, that's 12. Sorry. 12. Oops. Thirteen. 
team coming up here. Eh? Good old 20. Oi, yeah, I think I screwed myself over on this one. I realized I was playing a hundo percent here. 14 through 17. Sixteen, sixteen, sixteen. All right, so not as bad as it could have been, but still pretty bad. But the one benefit to doing that was seeing if we could grab silvers before things went stupid, but apparently we cannot. Silvers are still unfound. Shield and ample arrows. just yet. Some more gauntlet to do. Time to fucking one cycle these land mode. Maybe nope. <laughs> awesome. Fucking awesome. Alright, time to two cycle these land mode. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, it's so silly. So silly. Alright, now time for blue guy strats. We get some more <laughs> magic on the way through. Do cool guys strats part two here. Nice, hell yeah! There we go. It's perfect. Just get right up in there. Usually that's the one I duff up. It's a little bit more precise than the others. fall there either. Good, good, good. Alright, we're gonna check these two just in case we get saved. No. No. <laughs> Dang it. Worth a go. Worth a little Trizity try there. So take the magic refill here just because. chance for silvers here in the validation chest. We can dream, we can hope. Ah, it's the compass. Boo. Boo. Alright, well, whatever. It's fine, I guess. Let's see how 
watch me get dicked over by Jerk Wizard the second here. Oh, it's a pretty good pattern. Oh, I think that was only good for two, though. Well, that's an excellent pattern as well. Wow, okay, so it's two and two, I believe. Whoa, no, that was a three and a two there. Wow, what an excellent Jerk Wizard fight. Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> the one good thing about this run was that fight. But now we've got to do Silverless, so... Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. But Silverless with Butter is, you know, probably not the worst thing in the world, so whatever. Count, count our blessings. One. One blessing. <laughs> The one blessing of the Butter Sword. Is there a light in the fridge? Well, I mean, you can have snacks at any time when it's dark. It doesn't have to be midnight. Should probably be good for phase three. I hope we really fucking railed him pretty hard. Yeah, there we go. Butter sword doing the business. Probably just want to make sure we get the torch glitch, otherwise, this is going to be a, a much bigger pain in the ass than it needs to be. Fucker. I did not find the arrows in your tower, you piece of garbage. Piece of garbage dog shit. Oh, I think I missed it already. Ah, yep. Shit. God damn it, he fucks me over. Alright, I guess we get one there. If we can get two per cycle, that would be ideal. that one just barely. Missed the second one here. I think that counted. We'll see. It was a pretty reasonable silverless fight, let's be honest. Oh, boy. It's a little bit tight. <laughs> it's okay, though. We did it. And it only turned out to be a 225 and change. Blech. Blech. Alright. We did it. We fucking did it. 225. What an ugly ass seed that was. Good, good, good gravy. Good gravy, that was ugly. And apparently the silvers were in the left side somewhere, and we missed them, so thanks. Thanks, G-Tower, thanks for being a piece of shit and hiding the silvers on us. Fucking typical. Alright, well I'm gonna take a quick break and go freshen up, get me a fresh drink, and then we'll start on number two in a couple minutes here.
Okay, okay. Well, I mean, that was probably the best silverless fight I've ever done. But I think that's also only the third one I've ever done, so... Here's hoping we don't have to do no more of those! Because fuck that, it's annoying! <laughs> oh boy. Alright, let's get to the stats and we'll start up on number two shortly here. Did I, uh... I didn't remember to change that. Okay, well, obviously this isn't a Triforce hunt. I just forgot to change the little word on the stream. That's okay, now I don't need to change it back, because that's what we're doing next. <laughs> Thinking ahead. Alright, so our first sword was like Bucko 1, Bucko 2, maybe. Not the greatest time to find a sword. Um, but we got the next one not too long after that, because I think we got 1 and 2 on the mountain. I don't know where the third one is, and the fourth one, I believe, was in Swamp. Early bow was nice, but eh, didn't really help us all that much. Alright, so let's see what we got. First sword! Oh, uh, an hour flat. Whoopty fucking do Tarantula Town. The rest was kind of around that spot, too. Fucking 17. Jesus. 18 S and Qs, four deaths, only one of which was intentional, so we really sucked it up there. This collection rate is way too high. We do not need that. <laughs> we do not need to get that many 